sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour And here it is, here it is on camera two which means you can see all three if I go to camera three you'll see two but if I go to camera one we're all here um, <laughs> Tonight, tonight is, is, is a strange night tonight tonight's the first night we are trying Google Live as a stream uh, for everybody other than in Germany, apparently. Oh. In Germany, they can't get YouTube live. Why is that? Something to do with music. The kind of music you don't like. Oh, right. So there, there are limits. The, 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 our German viewers can't get it. So we've got uh, our usual provider running on the DE Talk page. So, and I'm saying, this is, it's, I was just going to say, so if you're watching in Germany and you can't say you're here, go to the DE Talk Live page. <laughs> there are times when you have to wonder Strange, whether I'm eh? saying, don't you know? So tonight is going to be, a, it's, it's a bit experimental. Um, if things can go wrong, it's almost certain that they will. I'm going to be doing some stuff just to try and test the stream out, but I've already heard that people are watching this in glorious 1080p at the same bandwidth as you would get off the BBC on 57 inch and, and 52 inch and God knows what uh, televisions. Did you know that, That's Chris? That's incredible, that. No, no. Pardon? And I didn't know a lot. Well, that's what they're doing. They're watching it on the telly, on the telly telly, big. And you can watch it on YouTube if you've got the YouTube app on iOS or on, um, what's that other one? Android. It's a bit frightening watching us on 50 odd inch telly. In it? Yes. <laughs> You'd be life size. Scary. It is scary. It's very, very scary. And Ridian's just reminded me to play the titles. <laughs> yes, you'd better. I suppose we should do. Shall we? Uh, yes, if you want to. In, in high definition audio, no less. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Together with Keith and Kat and Dave, and this is one, two, three. The Here's Hour. Hour. And we are back in the room. Yes, uh, Alan Fletcher's just posted in chat that the German Gemma appears to be blocking it because apparently we might be playing music that Germany wants you to pay for. But we're not. Um, I don't know how to do that, but never mind. We've got it going out on streaming video provider. What I'd like to ask of you, if you can, if you have the wherewithal, would you please, if you're watching this live, have a look on iOS, Windows Phone, uh, Android, try every which way you can please to see that this stream, whether or not this stream's working for you, anything like decent. If it is, that'll be brilliant. Uh, that means that everybody can get everything and that'll be absolutely cool. Now, just to fill you in, what's been happening of late is that the stream has been jerking about quite a bit, and but not in any consistent kind of way. So. Kat and I would be sitting watching whatever, whether Tuesday night, Thursday night, well, right. I don't watch Thursday night, we'd be sitting watching a show, and she would have it absolutely perfect, and it would be stopping and starting and stopping and starting and stopping and starting for me, which is not very good, no. all things considered. No. Or, I would have it perfect, and it would be stopping and starting for Kat, and the same's been happening with chat all the way over. Oh, hello. Carl is where? Linweed. Ian Weed has said, 
Opera in turbo mode should solve the problem and Pete Dermody is talking about a VTTV VPN server. Do you know what one of those is, Chris? No, I don't. Um, I don't, I'm afraid. I'm not very up into and up, up to all this sort of technology. Well, I'm getting there, but... right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ratfinx has just said 1080 is so clean you can even see hairs on Keith's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Hey, you can. Steffi's reporting a few problems on the D talk page. Yeah, I, I thought that would be. A little be bit of stuttering going on there. Okay. Um, and she's getting buffering. <laughs> right. And they're talking now about hacking a big screen in Castle Square for streaming the show. <laughs> oh, dear God. That would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> can you imagine us on big screens up and down the country at nine o'clock? I on can't, a night? I can't actually, no. Oh, that'd be fabulous. Right, so Germany can have a UK IP. Pete? UK um, IP. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good, that. I just got that. <laughs> Moonlit's just said, VPN server, virtual private network, allows you to pretend you're from another country. Right. Oh. Um, Interesting. It is, a little bit. Um, it, it sounds like we've got two people um, in chat who know how to go about these things. Mm -hmm. um, that being the case, then get in touch, please, so that we've got a chance to, to try and work this out because I, I really would like to make the best quality available that we possibly can. Um, tonight, as I say, it's, it's very, very much um, experimental. We are saying though that Opera in turbo mode should proxy via the US. Any wiser? So, Absolutely not. <laughs> right, Moonlit's going to tell us if it works on Windows 7 phone just as soon as the YouTube app's up, app is updated. Uh, Disco Des says it's working fine on his Android phone in Firefox. Um, ah, Steffi. Found a Chrome extension which makes me American and it works. Okay, how does that work? Good question. She must be using one of those VPNs. So that it looks like she's from America. Quite possibly. Um, Dazza says he's watching on iOS, iPad and got a slight delay between sound and picture. Looks like a badly dubbed Kung Fu film. Badly dubbed? Kung oh. Fu? Yes. Kung Fu. <laughs> you know about Kung Fu, don't you? I do, but I can't relate why he's got Kung <coughs> Fu with you two. Well, the, the last time I heard of that, I was in a Chinese restaurant and... Uh, <laughs> One, one of the waiters got a oh, plate off the back of his head and he just turned around and said, which Kung Fu that? <laughs> oh, good God. Oh, my what? Uh, uh, <clears throat> yes. yes, enough of that. Um, it doesn't the, work on the Nintendo game. It doesn't boy. work right. He's <laughs> Vaptrex trying to get it working on the Xbox One YouTube app. You need to search for live, and it's not on the VaporTrails.tv YouTube um, site, it's on mine. So search for The Hi-Fi Stud, T-H-E-H-I-F-I-S-T-U-D, The Hi-Fi Stud. And Andy Oakley says it's working better on the Xperia Z1 Android than on his laptop. It's perfect in Firefox on OS X, OS X, proxy server app on Chrome. What's this? Is it? Right, okay. Is Keith going to be Bruce Lee? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> um, you'll also be able to tell chat just how much of a delay there is. I'm looking at it here and I'm seeing around about 30 to 35 seconds delay. So, tell you what, um, let's play a video in because, you know, I, I, I do want to do a show tonight. It's not just about testing stuff out. I'm going to do. Oh, no, no. Right. I'm going to do a coil in the second half. That's what we're going to do. And, 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 and it's, a, it's a good coil as well. It's a, I've changed one that somebody sent me a video of. They said, go and have a look at the Doobie Doobie coil. The Doobie Doobie. Why the Doobie Doobie? I've got no clue. I think it actually is double double. Um, doobie Doobie. So I've just done Doobie. It's like half a Doobie Doobie. Right. It's just a Doobie. Interesting. Yeah, it uses yeah. ribbon, ribbon canthal. And I'm using it now, actually, and it's very nice. 
Mm-hmm. That's how well it works. But while I was messing about earlier on today, trying to get everything working properly, it occurred to me that there was a couple of videos I hadn't played in that we were going to play in, um, and I was also reminded of, of why I was going to play them in. And ages ago, somebody'd been asking about um, buggered up centre pins on their mod, and it rang a little bell, and then for some reason, it floated out of my head, for which I apologise, whoever it was. However, I have the fix, and here it is. Hello, me again. Can't stay out of the studio today. Um, this is just a very quick one to say a big thank you to one of our forumites. Um, if you go to forum.vaportrails.tv, you will see that we get all kinds of hints and kinks on there. I'm not going to tell you exactly where this one is, because I want you to go and have a look for yourself. But, as you may recall, um, I managed to break the two mods that I made to take away with us on holiday. Uh, well, I say break. Didn't actually break. I basically didn't make them all that well. My soldering was not up to par. And although Gary tells me and Mark tells me that you can't actually melt the silicon ring that goes around the centre post on a 510 connector, I think I did. I, I broke it somehow anyway. Um, and ended up shorting it out. But there was a tip, a hint, a kink posted on the Vapor Trails forum that said that it was fixable by sliding um, an O ring over the centre post. And I thought, I'm going to give that a go. And I did. I'm not going to take the O ring off because it'll be practically impossible. But as you can see, if you look closely, and if I've got this in focus, which I think I have. The O-ring now sits behind the button of the centre post and it will slide very neatly back into the connector. Um, and I just need something to push it down with. So push it in and it seats quite firmly. Now, as you can see, there is room for manoeuvre it'll push up and down, but it pushes up and down straight. Let's stick the Penelope back in. And let's bring out the good old fluke and do some beeping, as you do, and look for continuity tests. What we want to see is, is there any continuity between the centre post and the outside? And if I connect it all up, put the bits and bobs where they're, you'll hear the beep. And that's showing 2.6 ohms on the meter, which is exactly what it should be. And if I take the Penelope off, this is where any short would occur. It's where you wouldn't know if there was a short. Or so here we have it. The meter, as you can see, is touching the outside. And as I press onto the inside contact and push that as much as I like and no short no beep touch it on the outside there's the beep touch it on the inside as you can see you can see the white wire moving behind yeah no beep screw that down as tight as I like no beep no short exactly as it should be that is a brilliant tip brilliant tip Thank you so much. Um, but I think when I remake the other one, because the other one's completely shot, I'm going to put a new connector in and I'm going to use this idea of the O-ring straight underneath the, uh, the button to make it work exactly as it should. Um, so that was just a, a thank you to the poster of that hint and kink on our forum. Um, Thank you so much. I've actually got this mod back and working again, and I'm so pleased by that. Back to the studio. And back in the studio we are, with Chris looking very, very pensive. What, what were you looking at, Chris? I'm just reading everything the chat's saying. Um, I'm just trying to come, keep up to date with what they're reporting back. Apparently it's working on a Kindle Fire HD via Tube, mate. Yeah. And Heiko, 
Yeah, Windows Phone 8 seems to be the way to go for yes. people on Android. Yes, as V-Power has pointed out, he's not going to buy a new phone for it. He'll watch it on the PC. Well, why not? You can get 1080 on there. Alan's asking for the DE Talk link. It's up at the top. DE Talk Live. It's at the top of the screen. Up, up, hang on. There. Somewhere. Of course, that's going to be 30 seconds too late for a minute, Chris. Mm-hmm. You got any new toys lately? I haven't. You I haven't? If I, I bought a vice. All right. A vice. What in a kind of vice? <coughs> what kind of vice? Right, I'm going to give you shaky cam for a second here. Ooh. Oh. And right. what, are we, what are we using that for, Prey? For when I can never get these damn atomizers apart. So that's in, instead of uh, mole grips and big pliers yes. and things. And yes, why not? Buy a vase and be done with it. So it's in place. Right. See, that's vegetables. very practical. That's I it. think so too, yes. <laughs> Can you see Ratfinks has just said that the phone, the Kindle, the laptop are all playing at different times. And that, yes, it, it, they, they all they all work slightly differently, don't they? Um, yeah, that's that's normal. You can expect that. Yes, indeed. Um, it's it's all weird and wonderful and stuff like that, he said, moving to that camera. Um, yes, they'll all go at different speeds because some of them use HTML5, some of them use Flash, some of them use QuickTime. It's a mess, but YouTube seems to handle most of them. What, what? Jester has a spectrum. <laughs> You can't be yes, watching. Yes, Rob. It's one from Aldi. Is it? Aldi. Aldi. Too right. Yeah. But really cheap and D good quality. Disco Des Wilkinson is saying, getting back to vaping news, what's happened to UK VIP? Here's the answer. Nobody really knows. Everything appears to be up in the air at the minute, and uh, it would appear that they're trying to get themselves sorted out. And from that point of view, I think they're best left to get themselves sorted out without everybody piling in and making a mess of things. And I don't mean that in a nasty way, but the one thing about a single issue political party, and I think I've, I, I do want to say this, is it's a very, 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 very difficult thing to organise because you've got people from all different parts of the political spectrum that only come together on one issue and it's very very difficult to to divest yourself of all the other political bits and concentrate on just the one issue I think for the moment what I don't want to do is stir any pots cause any trouble or anything like that I think the need UK VIP <coughs> needs to be allowed the time to bring itself together sort out exactly how it's going to work and do what it needs to do there's a lot involved in putting a political party together and I don't envy them the task. It's not something I would do. I tell you that for absolute certain. It's a very, very difficult task and I think, you know, it's, we're better off giving them the space and the time and allowing them to do what they need to do to get it ready for the general election in the UK. There's unlikely to be anything possible to happen with the Euro elections. They need the time Let's give them that. Let's not put pressure on. Let's not, you know... A minefield. It, it is an absolute... Well, I mean, you've, you've been involved in local yes. politics at one point or another, haven't you? Yes, I mean, uh, you don't know what's around the corner, do you? No. Very, you, very you difficult. Know, what issues are going to be raised? Well, <sighs> you, you've got no idea what issues are going to be raised. And, and it's very, very difficult, as I say, when you're talking about a single-issue party, a party that's got a core to it. Everything else outside of that court, everybody's got very different views on, and it's it's well, almost Well, I mean, look impossible. at the problems UKIP's had in in, in 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 that respect, haven't they? Yes. Yes. I mean, you know, that there are there are there are people saying if you want to pile, yeah, if you're going to be constructive, pile in. Um, but seriously and honestly, I, th I do think that the the main protagonists need space to get everything organized w without that space it's it's almost impossible to do i mean 
it's going to need full-time jobs to do it. It needs people full-time at it. And that's, that's as much as needs to be said about that. Which is probably a good point to take the adverts, wouldn't you say, Chris? Before you do, Dave, yep. um, a very sensible question was asked. If you're doing a search for this stream on YouTube, what exactly do you look for? Well, the stream's name is Here's Our 17th Feb 2014. Here's our 17th Feb 2014. Um, what I can do, I've just realised, if I, I'll open, I'll open it in a new tab, and I'll drop the link into our chat. If somebody on the team can paste it in. Um, then we can drop it into uh, into the main chat, in, in, into the, the chat that's going on. And that yeah, might help. It's, it's just if anybody's going to be looking for it at any you know time other than when we're live on air, what you search for. So that gives a clue. You look for the name of the show. Yes. And the date. Name of the show and the date. We'll, we'll always call it, so it would be Vapor Scene, what's the date tomorrow? 18th. Vapor Scene, 18th Feb. 2014 would be the next one if we were doing it that way um, and then Wednesday it's a hangout and I don't know how that works because I'm not that clever and then Thursday it'll be VT talk what will the date be 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th Feb 2014 that would be what you would search for and uh, and there you go and it's also available by looking for as Moonlit has just said the hi-fi stood and going to the feed section the hi-fi stood t-h-e-h-i-f-i-s-t-u-d at the end and uh is that that okay yeah. that's fine you can go to your ads now yes because i'd forgotten to go back to my picture as well i do apologize right um off we go at the advert we'll be back in a couple of minutes div not gan any we are hell like the nas newman Safer6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we are back in the room and as somebody said they can read the ads without glasses and they didn't hear any talking over the ads we didn't talk over the ads Chris no we didn't actually I was resetting the camera 
<laughs> MG Jones has just gone and said, nah, no talk and Dave ain't a pro like us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask what kind of pro he is. <sighs> right. Leanne Lawless has just said, why does my attie go dry during VTTV and I want to re-wick? Strange you should have said that, because that's what I'm about to do. And it is so high definition, you can see a little bit of... Look at that. A little bit of fluff. See that little bit of fluff? Oh, that's clear. Crikey Moses. I can't, I can't see that with my glasses on. What I'm going to do is this um, doobie doobie, but a half a doobie doobie coil, and it uses ribbon. Strangers in the night. Stranglers in the shit night. Exchanging glasses, rolling in the shit night. You know, there's a change in the taste in your music tonight. Is there? You know, rather than that sort of crashing and banging and cacophony of strange sounds <laughs> yes Keith. Yeah, uh, bordering on the classical classical well semi-classical stranglers so. in the sh night yes yes oh, but blame me for that i'll start <laughs> I've, 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 I've always been fond of a bit of doobie doo oh, can't right. read a bit of doobie doo a bit of doobie doo is great the one i don't like is is the hobbity ho <laughs> what's the hobbity ho hobbity ho you never heard a ho hobbity ho singer no Oh man, going around the clubs, it's yes. You go, you go around the clubs and, and they'll sit there and go, Strangers in the night, oh. exchanging glances, happy headed down, and a lady chanting, happy chanting. You must have heard them. You've played for them at the lodge. I didn't know that's what they called them. Call Hobbity Ho. All right. Right. Always started the same way. <laughs> yes. I've never heard them called that. Coils. Flat ribbon canthal. And what you do with this, I'll zoom out a bit, because otherwise nobody will be able to see. You take your flat ribbon canthal and you fold it on itself. He said, pulling it off from his hair bobbled equipped the hair bubble to stop it from springing off. So you end up with two bits of canthal, one on top of the other, in missionary position, if you will. And what? Nothing. One on top of the other? Yes. Aye. Missionary. Yeah, I followed that. Not reverse cowgirl. Right. So we'll get rid of the purple bit. And there you have, as you can see, two bits of canthal. And what you need to do is make sure that they are bang on top of each other so that they're touching and then you need a former and I will use my trusty screw dribulator and the thing to do <coughs> is to wind this leaving yourself plenty and I'm going to give this a good five turns now, if, you, if you'd done the full doobie-doo, doobie-doobie coil, you would have tripled it, not doubled it, and you would have given it three turns. And by so doing, you would end up with a very, very sub ohm, because I tried this earlier and it came out at about 4 ohms, at uh, 0.4 ohms rather, which would need a pretty hefty battery to drive it, and you wouldn't be able to use it on a power controlled mod. So, there's my last turn on. Good and tight. Okay. And then I'm going to install it onto the scrape. And all you do is just pull it round the terminal screw. I hope you're watching, Keith, because you're doing this next week. Huh. Pull it round yes. the terminal screw and screw it down and if you've got it trapped underneath there it works very easily I'll see if I can get that a little bit closer there we go so that's one side trapped is that still in focus 
Yeah. Good. And you want to be sure that that's good and tight. Which it is, and it seems to have held. And the same with the other side. Again, good and tight. Take it under your former. It's easier when it's away from you, I have to say. Very difficult to do this on camera, and I'm going to need to use snipe nose pliers here. Sorry if my fingers are in the way, everybody. But it is one of those where if things can go wrong, they will. I'm trying my hardest to make sure they don't. You want to pull it good and tight because you do need both bits of wire under there, which they now are. So using the plug and filters, this is making a hell of a racket, isn't it? I'll be able to read chat as they see this and they'll be taking the mickey out of me, I've no doubt. Right, so that's good and tight. Everything appears to be in place as it needs to be. So now, I can simply take the former out, like so. And we're left with the coil in place. Slightly out of focus, but nonetheless. What we now need to do, you're doing this next week, you know, yeah, um, is just snip. And because, as you can see, the wires go across that little valley in the scrape, it's dead easy just to line your scissors up, snip it off, and same on the other side. Yeah, that's gone slack. When it, when it goes slack, there is only one thing for it, and that's get your former back in. See, this is why I like to do things live. Because if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. And if it goes wrong for me, it can go wrong for anybody. Uh. <clears throat> well, there's no wrong with it. Sometimes you just have to be a little bit more forceful. Assertive. Get assertive with your wick. Doesn't help that my fingers are claggy. Right. Of course, nobody can see what I'm doing now. For which I do apologise, but I need to get that screw down tight. I like a good tight screw, don't you, Chris? Can I beat it? You heard it here first. <laughs> That's right. why you should both have eyes. They're, oh, dear me. I, I don't <laughs> even think... <laughs> So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it around this way to cut it off so I can see what I'm doing. Right, there we go. That there is the coil. And what I need to do now, I think, is to test the resistance on it. So for that reason, I'm not going to stick it on a mod. I am going to get out the beat machine. As you do, beat machine coming out, and I'll measure it. Unfortunately, close up we cam won't pick this up, but we'll have a quick look at it. And that will go at 0.7 ohms. So I've obviously got a turn fewer than I thought. And all that means is that I need to change my Zorbas around a little bit to use an ordinary battery rather than uh, the Zorbas itself. Let's go to camera four for this, close you up. And take the Zorbas off. Put that out of the way. Put the ordinary battery cap on. Because 0.7 ohms is too low for a wattage control device. little bit of rattle there so I'll just extend the center screw a bit screw my scrape base on you won't have to do this Keith promise faithfully I'll have it all set up and ready now who says I'm gonna do any of it scrape on Right, 
Woo there. And as you can see, if I can get it into shot, that glows up a good one. Nicely in focus there, look at that. Now, of course, I need to put some wicking in it. So let's zoom that out a bit. And let's get some wick in. And again, as per usual, I'm going to use cotton, the usual stuff. And all I'm going to do is what I usually do, which is a little bit of juice on. Stream still working all right? It's beautiful. So I'll just get that rolled to a nice little point so that it will shove through. That oh, must be a bit narrower, David. That's it. Because the more you roll it between your fingers, all together now, the stiffer it gets. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. And I like to go through so that my bit I've just wet gets wasted and it just wants to be as you might be able to see just to the edge of that channel there no further than that and then skizzers cut off to the same degree on the other side and then just drop it gently into the hole you just put your wick into that little channel as the actor said to the bishop and then a little bit of juice so that the wick gets a soak you've got some on the coil and that's ready to start the process of proper wicking as it were now let's see how that looks in action and there it goes you probably won't be able to see how much that's putting off. So let's get its uh, top back on. Back on with the scrape. Put a mouthpiece in the scrape because that's what you do. And then go to camera two and see how well it works. Whoops. Wrong camera two. That camera two is the one we want. There we go. Hello, camera two, how are you doing? You alright? Gillis says it's never flattered on either YouTube or the web and he's watching both. <coughs> Max Hyde says the stream is the best it's ever been, good as any other TV programmes which are available. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. I think you wow. can see how that works. I think so. Keeps dropping. Do you want to have a blast, Keith? Aye. <coughs> there you are. Bottom button again. Nothing the matter with that. Whacking it out, isn't it? It certainly is. Do you want to go, Chris? I'd love to go. <laughs> <coughs> Clever stuff. It's all right, is that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Chris says I looked in deep concentration. I was. I was fascinated. <laughs> oh, right. I've forgotten the names of these cottons. I haven't. It's all right. Right, Fashion Summer Fashion is the flat one. Fashion Summer is the flat one. Close you up your cam time. Close you up made cam. by Rico and available from Hobbycraft. There Other it is. stores are available. Fashion Summer from Rico. And somewhere on there, I think, is a, um, a part number. 
Well, a part number. <laughs> it's not a bloody character. A product number. They are. Party 321. There's all the information you need. Rico Design Gumbaha and Co. Farbit 001, number 383069. Those are lot numbers. What is Don't that? worry about it unless you end it in a jumper. It's to ensure you have exactly the same colour. Is it? <laughs> but it's white. It's white? It doesn't <coughs> matter. <laughs> there are different shades. Of white. Not grey. <laughs> I know there's fifty gram bulbs. That's all anybody needs to know, and it's Rico Fashion Summer. Fifty gram bulbs. Yes. Yes. Fifty right. grams, roughly two ounces. Yes. And I've got I've got two fifty gram bulbs. Have you? Yes. <laughs> Hitler only had one, you know. He would. Oh, he would. Yes, you're right, Chris. <laughs> Can I have that he back, did. please? Because you've got a top pocket. To <laughs> too heavy for it. What is? It's too heavy for your top pocket, is it? I'll try. Oh, no. I, <laughs> I don't know if I dare, to be honest. No, no, you try. better. Try. Yeah. yeah, you could. You're couldn't. right, Steffi, they should be giving us money for advertising. Too, every <laughs> too right, too right, too right. Midge Dog, of course you're trendy enough to buy such a high fashion item, Sunshine. We all are. Because you're worth it. Yes. Oh, that's L'Oreal, isn't it? But people will have to make sure they get the right shade. Mm. That makes a difference, obviously. I was very tempted. They've got them in Aldi, a lace wool, in huge balls, um, oh. if I'm allowed to use that expression. But it was in multicolour, and I thought, nah, I've got enough here to last me for the next ten years. Mm. Good old Aldi. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good old Aldi. John Nutton Matt has just said, my lovely wife got me two more balls of Rico today from Hobbycraft. She must think I'm taking up knitting. No, John, what she's doing, sunshine, is she's maxing your credit card out on needles, sewing oh, stuff, cake uh, tins, and God knows what, and she's giving you the two balls just to keep your face straight. Because <laughs> you know how I know? Because <laughs> that's what my wife does to me as well. He, he's time to worry as if she gives him the needles as well. Oh, God, yes. There you are, sunshine. You're knitting your own dinner tonight. <laughs> DD, uh, DD, am I going to the knees, mate? Honestly, seriously. Am I going to the knees, mate? Of course I am. And I might be going to Bordeaux in March. Did you know that there's a French um, vape expo on? I think, is it the 13th, 14th and 15th of March in Bordeaux? Look it up on the web you later. In wine country. Wine country. Can you just imagine? Two days away. E cigs, wine. Bordeaux. In France, good food. And when's this? 13th, 14th, and 15th of March. Right. In Bordeaux. Vape, Ex Vape Expo France. I'm trying to talk my darling wife into taking us. Well, I'm sure if it's Bordeaux, Catherine, she wants to go. Catherine, if you're watching, give Jill a ring. Tell her she needs to take us to France. Nice weekend away. It's my sister-in-law. I know. Ah. <laughs> Better take some adverts, haven't we? I think so. Be back in a couple <coughs> of minutes. Div not gone nowhere hell, youngin. Like the Nath. We'll be back in a bit, hell.
the six sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we're back. Didn't realise the adverts had finished. I was sitting looking at things. There's been a bit blank screen for a while. I do apologise. My fault. David's to blame. Well, far be it from me to criticise. That's because I didn't have the sound on on the adverts. I hope I didn't miss. Too, I, well, I hope you didn't miss too much. We weren't talking about anything important though, were we? No. 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 Just vaping and drinking, like we do. That's right. Um. What, what, what? Only mods can post links, says Sav. Yes, John, not Matt, has just said, actually, DD, I have to check now you said that. The wife did have four or five large bags of stuff, too. Yeah. And Ratfinks also said that, <coughs> uh, apparently, I know the female mind too well. <laughs> 36 years married, you learn quick. Well, I didn't learn all that quick, but I did learn. This... Um, this beastie is still doing the nuts, that coil I just made. This is glorious. It is. Mm-hmm. Rat thinks it's in March, but we don't know the exact date. Yet. Yes, I'll I'll let I'll put 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 cut full screen and she can say that again because Daz VTTV Daz, he's organising it. When's he organised? He is, I. He's going to be organising it. But yes. at the moment, he's, he's so woe is me over his computer. And once he gets that back, he'll be in full old go. Mm. Whatever. Full of get up and go. Because at, at the moment, he's get up and go. Got up and went. He's gone. Yeah, got ah. up and went. He's, he's without, he's, he's without his, his computer. And when he's without his computer, he's, he's neither use nor ornamental. True. Well, neither that, use, but he is, he's that and his bobo together, it must be devastating. Oh, I haven't lost both your computer. Well, that and the damage the zombies did last week. What's the zombies done to him? He was out killing zombies last week. Oh. And he hurt his arm. But there you go, you see, that's Daz for you. But, but he should know better than to go <laughs> to Middlesbrough. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, you said zombies, not <coughs> smoggies. I'm sorry. Oh, I got that zombies. wrong. Zombies, not smoggies. Oh, he was zombie killing. Zombie killing. Uh -huh. And he's been taking dance classes since then, so he's in a right mess. Right. Dance classes. I'm going to play a high, very high resolution video in now because I need people to know what goes on when I'm not on. That's not really what I mean. These are the shows that you'll get to see. One of them you won't at the minute, but the rest you will. And we're back in the room. Now, tonight, as I said, it is, has been a little bit of an experiment to see whether or not this stream was going to work. 
and I'm not sure that I'm going to carry on. And I'll tell you for why. Because somebody in chat has just spied, he said, going to camera one, a 9 volt battery here. Now that's probably somebody that's watching on a massive, mahoosive television via however it is they've got it in. And they wanted to know what are we using these 9 volt batteries for? That, they power Keith. Keith is powered. <laughs> <laughs> Keith is powered by a 9 volt battery yes. and it's what's in his radio pack which is in his pocket his radio pack for his mic I use double A batteries they're in my radio get it out David there you are if you're watching super high res you'll be able to see that so is it because mine's bigger I knew you were going to say that Keith well <laughs> Keith's bigger than mine Get yours out, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> yes. These are the... We'll put them together. Go on, I'll match you for a tenner. I've lost. Look at that. There you go. Let's go to Keith, Cam. There you are, Keith. Yes. That's them. About a, a third bigger than yours. Yes, mine's lighter. Yeah. But mine's more versatile. <laughs> no answer to that. Size is not important. <coughs> well, it isn't, is it? So I'm constantly told, which is probably just as well because it's been bloody card. <laughs> been bloody card lately. Right, where are we at? Heiko can see that PP3 on a 19 inch CRT in 480p. Good grief. <laughs> I see Jeff's back. Good, good. Good to see him back in chat. Darren Brown's in as well. Rack thinks has decided that our main social vape life will be the knees meet in a couple of years' time. That, that, that could be the case. Yes, Sennheiser, HD in action, good lord. Um, Sal has said, the quality on the YouTube feed is amazing. Can I, I, I just need to ask chat, can you please let me know? Um, have there been any dropouts on either feed? We know there's been one or two on the SVP feed, the feed that's on the, uh, on the DE Talk Live page. But how has it been on the main live page, this Google feed? If you could let us know, and I will also check Google chat because I can. Because it's on there. The good Lord above, I'm getting lots on here. David Newell, Gadgets and Wheels, is, there you go. Broadcast quality here in Yorkshire on broadband, he says. Perfectly on Mac, using Safari, looking good on Firefox in 480p. Perfectly on Android. Um, yeah, it seems to be doing what we want it to do. So, no buffering. It seems to be working the way we want it to work. Amazing. Get it out, David, please. No. <laughs> Best ever. No dropouts on Virgin. No dropouts on YouTube feed at all. Absolutely rock solid. Best feed for ages. Absolutely perfect. Great stream. No problem. No dropouts. It's been fine apart from nasal hair trimming required. I, thank you, Jeff Benyon. You, you, you just acted new. <laughs> I didn't even look. I He's it was probably good. talking about me. You Carl <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reptile Rowley is watching it on a 60-incher. God. 60-inch telly. Good God. And it's that good and clear you can tell that Kate's watch is slightly out. It is actually about 30 seconds. Well, there you go. So it's a big thumbs up, no buffering, just a great feed. The feed is amazing. Um, I, I will be able to tell as well um, who's been watched, well, not who, but I'll be able to see what resolutions have been watched, which is really good. Kizzy said, the picture is so clear, I can see a bulge in Keith's pocket, the shirt pocket, it must be. Nothing in it. Nothing in it? No. How's it been working for you, Chris? Fabulous. Um, I don't quite understand because normally when I have Skype open and on a call and I have the show page open, um, Sav's got to help me out by taking the photos and they're working perfectly and I, I don't quite get that. So I'm delighted. Well, that's good to hear. It's good to know. Sorry, I'm just changing the battery in my device because somebody did ask how long would I expect to get out with a 0.4 um, 
0.4 ohm coil out of a out of a battery not long frankly not long it doesn't doesn't give you very long at all um, I probably get two hours I suppose out of an 18650 uh, uh, 2500 milliamp hour 18650 but I don't get much longer out of a, an 1860 that 18650 than that normally um, I, I go through them at a fair rate and not uh, it has to be said but I am enjoying this mm -hmm. that's how good it is bloody hell <coughs> what caught the back of your throat mm, no. just a little bit just a little bit so how many wraps would you have to put on that to get an ordinary coil not so bomb I would think eight. eight. I would think actually eight is probably where you would want to be uh, mm. to go with anything that was going to work on a, a wattage control device. I'll have a play with it and uh, and, and and see what I can do, um, and shall report back next week because that's the kind of thing. There you go. What's this? Whippets. It's been strange watching YT vids today. A bit jumpy. Not one blip tonight. Um, yeah, has it gone well over? No, we started 10 minutes early, we're not due to start, not due to finish for another two minutes, according to what I've got here. Two minutes, there you go. I didn't know Whip It Up 69 was in Lancashire. Hmm? That's what it says there. And then, Lancashire. very boring, has just said, never mind Dave, we'll soon be getting flooded with 26650 mods roll on the day <laughs> 4000 milliamps in one battery that would probably get me through a day that would be really really nice i'd love actually when i think about it dna 30 on a 26650 that would be corking what do you think about that chris that would be good wouldn't it wouldn't it just are you typing wouldn't who are you typing to i am i'm conversing with the team all right, what are they saying? That's the posh way of putting it. Is that Just right? everybody's reporting back on what they're finding, and it's it's all good. It's all very, very good. So, there you go. That's all I'm conversing at. Right, I see. I'll, uh, yes, I went and had a quick look. I'm quite amazed, I've got to say, because I've been monitoring the, uh, the stream here, and it, it looks pretty damned good. But absolutely, we're over time. We've uh, got some tips about the iPad as well to Apple TV from Lee, which I'm very grateful for, which I'll pass on to you later, Dave. What you do? Is it anything um, we need to speak about now? Um, possibly. I mean, um, from Lee, I'll read it out. Mm -hmm. iPad to Apple TV. You cannot use the iPad YouTube app. Use Safari on iPad. You will need to paste the link into your browser without, oh yeah, Lee had a bit of problem finding the uh, page, but once it got up there, it was fine. So there you go. Did also, Lee also reported back that um, the frame rate was a little bit slower, but could cope with it. Okay. Um, call, this is running at 30 frames a second. Uh, it was reported back at 20 from Lee. All right. Sprotty's just asked if I can mention his vaping ban. I can't scroll back to read it out. But yes, uh, it, I, I'm aware of it, that, that uh, a company... Uh, what I don't understand is why Tesco is involved, but we'll talk more about that probably on Thursday because there's going to be a lot more of that coming up. Um, what I do need to remind everybody is that tomorrow night, tomorrow night, he said, going to camera two, tomorrow night... Don't forget to tune in for Vapor Scene with Mark or Van Basten. I'm not quite sure whether it'll be on the old provider or whether we're going to try YouTube for him. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, Wednesday night, uh, we've got Team Talk as per usual. That's in a Google Hangout, so there shouldn't be any blips and clarts and farts and carries on with that. Thursday night is VT Talk, and uh, I think we'll probably be giving YouTube Live another go with that. Um, and then Sunday night is Dave's Tattlebox. 
and I think we'll probably be giving YouTube Live a go with that as well. Um, we've got a lot to sort out with this. I want to say a very big thank you to everybody in chat that's helped out tonight reporting back on how it's been working. You've got no idea how much that means to us. It enables us to make the service better for you. Also, please don't forget RY4 Radio is on every night after VaporTrails.tv. Don't forget to tune in. It's all good stuff. You don't like the music on there, Keith. There's no classical. No, I've never listened to it, no. to be honest. But it's good. You'll love it. You'll enjoy it. I highly recommend that you go there. Um, but that brings the show grinding to a screeching halt, doesn't it, Chris? It does, I'm afraid. Yes. We are running over now. We are, we are running over, and I've got no idea what effect that will have on YouTube or on the recording or anything else. I'm going to be scrabbling around after this, trying to get it uploaded so everybody can watch it video on demand, see how that works out. Um, but from all of us here, thank you so much, so much, so much for watching. Uh, without you, well, it just wouldn't be worthwhile. Um, so from everybody here, have a brilliant time. Vape on, vape hard, and nil carborundum illegitimate until we see you next time from all of us here. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 night.